the final demo I wanted to show you is what we call uh, the capability for an incoming email with an attachment to trigger a workflow. So let me go back again to this as this user, and I'm going to compose an email. And I'm going to send this to the extraction gateway. And I'm going to uh, say something like, please process this invoice and I'm going to attach Oops. so I'm going to attach this invoice and I'll show you what the invoice looks like so uh, once I attach the invoice and send it it's it's going to be it's going to actually get processed on the back end by a workflow so I'll, I'll explain that so let me just send this invoice um, and let me show you what's going to happen at the back end. So at the back end, using our tool, we've created a simple workflow. What it does is analyzes, analyzes the uh, invoice that's coming in and extracts the fields from it and then displays it for you in, in the console. Now, this is the back. So, so the, here, this, was the, this is the workflow that's actually being, uh, being executed. And then on the back end, you have the ability to actually uh, pick, uh, you know, create different collections of data that need to get extracted from the invoice. So in this case, the invoice, uh, this is kind of a configuration screen. What, what I'm saying is from the invoice, extract all of these fields for me, like due date, merchant, uh, customer, G, uh, you know, GST, and you know, all of these uh, fields. So now let's go back and see how the invoice is done. I'm just gonna go take a look at this. Uh, Extraction gateway. And so this, this got completed. And now on the back end, I'm going to log in as this user and look at, uh, look at the most recent invoice that came in. So you'll see that we, we, uh, this, uh, the, the workflow got triggered and it created an, a, a new task for me called the field extractor. I can look at this field extractor and uh, it'll show me all the fields that were extracted from this invoice. Let's take a look at the invoice. Um, so you'll see that it has, uh, you know, so you'll see, for example, that the GST of the uh, vendor is uh, 24H something. The GST of the customer is 07A something. And, and as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. Uh, maybe on the formatting, I've cleaned it up a little bit but it's, it's extracted the merchant GST and it's extracted the customer GST and, and other details from this invoice. So this was done completely without any training. We didn't uh, make any templates or do anything like that uh, to, to, to enable this capability. Now, coming back to this invoice, you'll see that, okay, it has a few fields, but you know it also has some banking information, which I did not extract. So now I have the ability to do that very, in a very straightforward way by going back to our uh, tool and uh, updating the fields that get generated from, from this particular incoming invoice. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go look at my invoice and edit it. So these are the fields that were originally being ex extracted. I'm just gonna replace it with an updated uh, one more point for you, Ranjit, because we have the 25 minute mark. Uh, yes, I just okay. want to leave a couple of minutes for questions to Sure. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I, and, you know, uh, Ranga, I'm happy to stay a little longer if people want to, uh, you know, uh, that would be awesome. keep the questions coming. I'm happy to do that. So, so, what I've done is I've updated now the configuration and say, now, in addition to what you were previously extracting, also extract for me this, these three fields. And you'll notice I'm not doing any training, nothing. So, I'm going to hit save on this. I'm going to go back as a customer and I'm going to compose, I'm, I'm going to resend the invoice. Okay, send the same invoice. And I'm going to hit send on it. And coming back, you know, we can uh, using our tool monitor what's going on. So let me just wait. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on what's coming in through the extraction gateway. So you'll see that the invoice that has been sent is now sent through this gateway, and uh, it should uh, get processed uh, in a minute at, at most. Okay, it 
comes out green and it shows me that everything generally went okay. So now I can come back to my, uh, to the back end and reload. Okay, I might need to just wait a few seconds here. you'll see that a new field extractor task has shown up. And when I click on it, uh, you'll see that in addition to extracting what it previously extracted, it's also able to extract the bank name, the bank account number, and the bank uh, IFSC code. So uh, I wanted to stop here uh, and, uh, you know, just wanted to make it very, you know, uh, a short and sweet demo where you can see the different capabilities and I'm happy to uh, get into you know conversations where we can talk more about this. In this case, we use the uh, you know cloud uh, model from Anthropic. Um, and basically you got email coming in, it triggered a workflow and we use this particular model. So that's all I had to say for today.